But he's, he, it's not in his nature. It's, it's, it's not in the DNA. I'm not sure it's really exactly, as you say, one that's been calculated in. There's one spot, and that's number one. Yeah. Jack Whitaker, Valmy de Lalande. He's going to take it one at this. It was a horse that his father rode. Ooh. Now, hopefully, that's the last touch. How oh, much neater over the second. This isn't a horse with the biggest stride. So he's got to do these tight turns and keep it uh, as tight as he can back to the verticals. so far leave them up and he has a chance little play on the corner oh, nicely ridden he's not going to be the quickest time but just jump that last fence Jack come on he yes he can there Brilliant. he goes you say not the fastest 41 48 but it is the clear which puts him in front and that's what counts at the moment well he's showing some maturity beyond his years because yeah. he rode to his strengths as you say not the biggest stride and he didn't lose his head and overdo it but he's jumped that crucial clear and absolutely and again used some pretty good lines the tattage offense he was just making a smooth curve over it so he landed going somewhere else very technical uh, good analysis there Steve. <laughs> well, there you go i'm leaving the rest to you <laughs> uh, it was a perfect round because without the big stride he couldn't eat up these huge open spaces yeah but he got these verticals spot on. He didn't uh, blitz it. We saw Harry Charles earlier at the beginning of the jump off taking chances, but Jack there just being just that bit more sensible.